This is the first video in a multi-part series on speeding up your PC. In this video, I'll demonstrate the easiest step of all, which is removing your thermal dust blanket. The objective here being to speed up the computer by cooling it down. So the reason why this works is most modern processors will go into a throttling state when they get too hot. And by removing this thermal dust blanket, we will delay the onset of that throttling state, allowing the processor to run at full speed for longer. Okay, so to start off with, uh, it's time to check the ambient temperature, which right here you can see is uh, 28 degrees Celsius when I start this test. Okay, so the method I chose to use for this um, to test out the temperature delta would be to um, run these off-the-shelf tools, hardware monitor and GPU-Z immediately after boot up so all the same processes are running. Um, off screen I'm checking the process monitor to make sure there's nothing extraneous running and um, here we can see the um, the CPU temperature measured at the motherboard running uh, 41 to 44 degrees Celsius range and the uh, it's core CPU temperatures running in the 57 to 61 uh, degrees Celsius range. And looks like GPU temperatures uh, running about 30, 36, 35, 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, got some uh, before shots of the dust that's accumulated on this particular computer. Uh, it's probably been about 18 months accumulating dust. The processor heat sink deserves some attention. Okay, so a lot of people use cans of compressed air to dust their computer. Um, I find this to be more effective and environmentally friendly. This is a battery powered leaf blower. Um, I've also used corded leaf blowers. Um, you, know, you can put them on a medium setting or so. Main thing you want to watch out for is um, you don't have any loose jumpers or anything on the motherboard that might come loose because uh, it's going to produce some pretty serious force. Other thing to watch out for is um, the fans. You don't want to blow the blower right onto your fans because uh, it can drive them way past their spec speed and wear down the bearings. Um, it's a low risk, but uh, I do show how to take those down and take care of that here in a minute. All right, here I put a little painter's tape around one of the fan motor supports for the CPU fan.
Looks like we got about 90% of the dust off here. Usually if you have a dust filter, it's better to take the filter out and clean it. Um, failing that with a bad design of the box, you can use your leaf blower to blow it out from the inside. Failing that, you can't get to it. You can always use the trusty old vacuum cleaner to suck it out from the outside. You can also use a vacuum to get out the sticky dust um, and also dust that gets stuck in uh, nooks and crannies and the ports and whatnot. Looks like we got about a one degree headwind for our test result check. Okay, computer back together. I boot it up right away, check the temperatures with the tools. So it looks like now we're running about, um, say, call it 30, 36 to 39 degrees on the CPU measured at the motherboard with uh, 50 to 54 degrees Celsius uh, core CPU temps and uh, 29 now on that GPU temp. And remember, these temp drops are with the one degree headwind. So clearly a uh, large drop in uh, temperature for the motherboard, CPU, GPU. Um, how does that translate into performance? Well, while I don't quantify that here, it's a safe bet that the computer will be less prone to throttling and result in higher performance anytime the CPU gets pegged. So there you have it. That's how it's done.